Okay, good morning everyone. Uh, I want to quickly speak about how to use BookBoot for keyword research and uh, search volume and because BookBoot is going to give you the Google search volume and as well Amazon search volume and likewise whether the competition is high or the competition is low. So <clears throat> this morning I've, I'm about logging in into my BookBoot account. So once you are in into the bookbook account though the main dashboard dashboard of bookbooks uh the way they created is they have a self-explanatory video on their platform already if you want to learn about uh keywords product searching the how to book scout how to scout about other competitors how to scout. so these are the three junctions that you need you need keywords you need uh the kdp spy and the category finder so you can see that the video are listed on the dashboard here already so you can watch any of them how to do book scouts how to make use of keywords you can search so once you click, click on keywords you click on the search button that we have at the top here once you have that do my network is very poor somehow somehow so once you click on that search tab you see give you another new interface where you're going to type in your keywords so for my keywords, I want to use a uh, Keto Slow Cook Car Cookbook as an example. So Keto Slow Cook, I don't know whether it is uh, the competition is high or is low, but very say I'm writing a book at, uh, that talks about Keto Slow Cook Car Cookbook. So you can just bring your topic inside this search bar, type it in, and then search. It will give you different different keywords that you can use to. Uh, publish your book so it will give you the keywords and then likewise it will give you the long tail keywords and the short tail keywords i believe i've explained how to use long tail keywords and short tail keywords earlier so if we the book both will give you list of options list of uh long tail keywords that you can use for your book so from that long tail keywords you can pick short 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 keywords from it that is short short words you can see list you can see that almost every long tail keywords that i have here almost all of them are high and you can see that there are some that it is written there that are no data and but if you notice they have high search volume on amazon but virtually most of them don't have much search volume on google so that means you can make use of them what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pick one uh, out of all these long tail key phrase so i'm just going to pick one let me try to see which one has a uh, high search volume on amazon but actually those one that doesn't have uh, no competition that is no data the virtually all of them don't have much search volume on google but there that is people are searching on it on amazon but it doesn't have much search on google like that that the people are requesting for something related to that on amazon but not that much on google so you can go for that so if you use your keywords your long tail appropriately you put your long tail appropriately and then all those keywords just pick them from all these long tail that you have here pick all those words insert them and then don't ensure you don't repeat words when you are inserting your keywords so once you put all of them there there are possibly even if the competition is high all these keywords that you have here there will be possibility that your book will be listed in as much all these key phrase they have search volume on amazon so but you can just have much focus on those keywords that have no data that is they don't really have much competition they don't really get any competition on amazon so i want to have picked one long phrase so, and i've pasted it on amazon because i suggested one uh long take keywords here yeah, so you can make use of this long take keywords that you suggested from amazon self you can use it when you are publishing your book and you can as well use the one that i pasted on this search bar on amazon so let me test this one once i test it it will suggest those books that are fighting for that particular long tail keywords on amazon so you can see that it has about about almost about ten thousand books are inside that so that means based not that if you put your book there your book will or might sell might sell well based on the keywords the appropriate keywords so yeah, that is if the seller there are a lot of books about slow cooker uh keto in this particular on, on as regards this title but if you use it based on this long take keyword that you paste here so that is if your customer pick that long take keywords and use it to search that is 
those that have that kind of long tail they are going to have their book listed when they search for that particular long tail keywords i don't know whether you get what i'm trying to pass across so that's the essence of that long tail that i picked from book books once you pick it and then you search it here you can you will probably there is probability that your book will be listed instead of just guessing that you can just write and you know some people they will just write any keywords but from uh book books you can get your long tail keywords from it and then you can even without testing it but to be very sure whether there is that key phrase is on amazon you can paste it there and it will suggest for you you will see the suggestion if it's not there then pick a long phrase keyword that is related to what you just pasted on amazon and then use it so the one i just pasted now i think it's totally added like easy port or something like that to it so i can use it when i'm using my keywords when i'm publishing so this long tail keyword i can use it whenever i'm publishing so once you that is it's telling you that there is possibility that customer because when customer are searching as well yeah amazon will suggest some related keywords for them so there are some extensions that have been installed on my browser already. I have KDP extension. Uh, I have KDP Spy. This KDP Spy, the first one that has like blue color here. This one is for Helium. The uh, this one, this KDP Spy is from Bookbo. So I installed it on my uh, Chrome browser. This KDP Spy. So instead of going into Bookbo, you can install KDP extension and then directly from here you can search for keyword or you can search other products competing products as well on your browser here you can check what and uh, the uh, what the search volume and stuff like that for each of the product what's the call the number of sales and everything this can give you directly on the browser here but my network is poor so if i as i'm trying to search here it will just keep loading so that's why it's not bringing results even the keyword you can get the keywords directly on your browser but instead of wasting my time i've gone directly into google and i've searched my topic and then it has given me you can see that even keywords frequently frequency of words those are used frequently so you can pick your keywords from all these frequency so all these words that are very important pick them but and then all this one you can pick keywords from here as well so from these long tail keywords those words that you have that you can pick from there but this one all those ones that are red 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 the long and uh, what's it called they have high competition and you should try not to use it because if you try to pick that long tail keywords as for long tail if you try to pick them your book might not sell that much but just ensure make sure you use a long tail keyword that has low competition or no data are you getting me now so that it will sell very well so you can see it's not still working yeah so let me try to check to it's not still loading anyway it's not still loading it's not still loading it's not still loading it's not still loading network is very bad on my side here yeah. network is very bad mm. let me try it now okay it's not loading anyway okay so these are lists you can just pick from all these words and then so you can say i'm going to category finder uh category finder so with category finder you can use category finder to pick the category of your topic i guess not that you just do guess work so from book books you can use the two category finder to know what exactly or which category you want to play where exactly you want to place your book you know sometimes if you just blindly pick any category when you are publishing your book you your book might not sell but once you search here and then you click on search button you place your topic and you click on search it will suggest you can see the category that i have here medium medium sometimes after you have written your topic already you have the manuscript at hand and you come here to search for category and you see that high high that means <laughs> I don't know maybe you have to use another long tail so choose category for your book so that you can sell you know it's not possible that the book that you have written you have written it for more than two days three days a week and how do you now want to say you want to delete that book so the best way is to use another long tail to choose category for yourself so that you can have either medium or low is good you are going to go if it's medium or low but if the category is very high that is the that particular category is very that particular category is very 
are competitive already. So you can just simply choose another long tail keyword. Yes, my baby. Hey, sorry, don't mind them. I'm sorry to digress. <laughs> All right. Uh, so as as I've said earlier, these are list of uh, long tail keywords. Pick one long tail. Use it to. That is that long tail simply means that there is possibility that buyers will pick any of the long tail. That if it's the long tail that you choose, that is there is possibility of say. But if you just if you didn't use any long tail in your keywords, yeah, and you just write out such such keyword and you just write it to fill up your space when you are publishing. Well, I don't know. You might say, but you might not really say well. But I will advise you to pick a long tail that is not so competitive. That is not that competitive. And then when you are picking category as well, use that long tail to search during in category finder. Then once you see anyone that is minimum or medium rather or low, choose it. Then place your book inside that particular category. Since the time I've started publishing uh, work, I've not tried to mail Amazon on adding to my category tools but i do make research on category then once i made research i see that okay this particular category is very low or is medium and it's not high i will use that particular category for my book and then publish it i don't know whether you get me